Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here. This is a deck I've been working on for some time. You may remember if you've been watching my arena videos for quite some time, something similar to this is what I ran in Standard. I ran Drakes as long as Guilds of Ravnica at all were in Standard. Uh, well, right now we have Sprite Dragon as well as Enigma Drake and Crackling Drake. Now I only run 10 creatures, but <clears throat> the idea behind the deck is supposed to be that you play all of these creatures scale with your instants and sorceries. As you cast more, they should get stronger. Well, you play Raking Claws to give them double strike, and Unleash Fury to double their power, and combined with one another, you can kill as soon as a Sprite Dragon with two plus one plus one counters, plus those two spells, because then it would be a 10 power double strike creature. All of them have flying, so we get to run Flame Sweep, and they get to get past most creatures anyway. Uh, other than that, we run the usual sweep. We run Opt for Card Draw, as well as Crash Through for Card Draw and Giving Trample. We have Spell Pierce for some interaction, um, and then Shock for Creature Removal, as well as Lightning Strike, and the aforementioned Flame Sweep. Aside from that, it's only 22 lands. Now, this is not an optimal land base, but I'm kind of hoarding my wild cards right now. I could and should invest in more Spire Bluff Canals and River Glide Pathways. Uh, if I know for sure that I'm going to be playing more Is It List, then I guess I could invest in the Spire Bluff Canals. Uh, blip, blip. There we go. Let's just. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a color combination that I'll be using quite a bit. Aside from that, again, you would want to include uh, more River Glide Pathways as well. The only non-synergy here is that if you get these too high, then you lose uh, mountains or islands for Sulphur Falls. But you have the four Steam Vents, and then this would be, let's see, three islands, two mountains, presumably. So you'd still have quite a few to go. Uh, so that's the list right now. There's no sideboard. This is just made for best of one. And it would just be pulling out of my collection, what have you. Uh, so let's jump into a game, I suppose. Now this is going to be unranked, partially because the list is unfinished and partially because I just don't feel all that great right now. I'm sorry. You can probably hear that in the voice. Sorry if that's the case. Oh, you know what? I may want to turn the volume up just a little bit, though. A little bit. It's been so long since I've played unranked a lot. Like, I'm starting to see names I don't recognize again. Okay, so we'll keep and turn the audio up while we're at it. Now, one weakness to the deck, you see our only creature is Crackling Drake. I actually did consider running, um, let's see, we could try to uh, bluff them a little bit with a Sulphur Falls first. It means that we're not holding up Shock or Crash Throw, though. Okay, so it's Goblins. We're dealing with Goblins now. Uh, in that case, we will Crash Throw here. Okay. Yeah, if I had played that earlier, I'd have a Sprite Dragon here. That would have been nice, but oh well. Alright. Wily Goblet is fine. We can live with that. Because ideally these would be pointed at our opponent. Okay. Well, you know what? Hmm. Kill it just to kill it? So we have a... No, 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 it's okay. That's fine. We can use it on a lord. That's more important. I'm not in a... I'm... I'm... I need to think more clearly. Clearly. Uh-oh. We're doing it now. War Chief. Um... You, and then they'll sacrifice it. But now it doesn't have haste anymore. Uh oh. Ooh, Jim Palm Incinerator. Nice, nice. Very nice. All right. Sorry. Let me let me get my head out of the clouds real quick. Okay. So we're gonna do Sprite Dragon again, and this time we're gonna see if we can take out this Skirt Prospector. Obviously, they'll they'll just sack it. There's no point in not. Well, okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And then we hit them for two. Um, 
Okay, yeah, so with the crash through and the shock, I, I should have, but I did not. I messed that up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, folks. We're in trouble. That's not good. That's not good at all. Okay. Wily Goblin. We're not dead just yet, but it's not looking too great. Not too terribly great. So let's start off with the Crackling Drake, see what else we can draw here. Alright, that would have been nice if it were a uh, Lightning Strike, but alas. Alright. I guess we can... Let's see. So if we apply it now, we have four, three, give it double strike, so we have eight, three, eleven. They don't have any life gain, so there's not too much of a point in firing it now. We'll save it just in case we need to cycle. And then we'll just kill him on the next turn. Alright. Here goes nothing. Alright. So they don't have any more goblins in hand to play. Or, you know, they may have something like... No, even if they had Muxus, they have a treasure token. So they could have. Okay. Oh, oh, I see what's going on here. I see. I think I see what's going on. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. Okay. So, I give you! And then, let's just do it. Yeah, yeah. We had lethal anyway, but there we go. Okay, so I'm all over the place for that one. Let's uh, see if we can focus a bit more. Uh, so this is one of the matchups where Spell Pierce doesn't do you all that much good, and I was considering, that's what I was going to say earlier, I was considering running Winged Words, but I didn't think that we had a cheap enough curve. See, there's a previous version of this deck that had Terramander. Uh, the, let, me, let me pull that up really quickly. Uh, Terramander is... It actually might be the first thing that comes up when I type PT. Uh, no, okay, <laughs> pretty close to it. It's a one-mana flyer, uh, which would turn on Winged Words on turn two. Uh, uh, then you can adapt it for hopefully just blue. It's adapt for cost one less for each instant or sorcery in your grave. So it's a one mana 5-5, five five, ideally. By the, well, two mana 5-5, five five, eventually. Now, you have to actually build up enough cards in the graveyard in order to make this work. And it does have a little bit of a nombo with cards that we're not playing, like, uh, for example, um, cards with escape. If you're exiling cards from your graveyard, you're making it harder on Terramander, and consequently, Enigma Drake. You might think, well, wait a minute, so I should run Terramander. A Crackling Drake actually scales and draws us a card, so even if it dies, it draws us a card at least. In, even so, I still should try to find a way to fit Terramander in. It, it does... I don't have a whole lot of card draw in the deck. I have Opt and Crash Through, so if I don't find a creature, and I don't have a companion, I might be in trouble. If I take out Crackling Drake, then I could put in Terramander and have Gigantha as a uh, commander, or not commander, companion, because then I wouldn't have to worry about any of these double blips in the cost. So I guess we could try that out. It would change a few other things about the list too. Something would have to go in order to make room for Winged Words, and I would still only have one, one mana flyer. And it's a little slow. All of these creatures you get a Raking Claws or Unleash Fury and you're just dying, but you never get bigger than a 5-5 with Terramander, so it's not as consequential, but that is probably the better way to go. It, now, if I were to do this, let's say we take out the Drakes, let's go for taking those out. I, I did think about this beforehand, so hopefully this won't take too terribly long. Uh, so we put in Terramanders and three Winged Words. Hmm, it's so good though, I kind of would like to run four. With a curve this low, we might even be able to get away with taking out one more land. That would be interesting. Now, without the Terramander though, well, and it, it actually makes Spell Pierce better because we can stick a threat and hold up Spell Pierce thereafter. We still need to close out the game quickly, and Terramander is, by a substantial margin, our slowest creature, so. This might not work out. This could be very bad for me. It also doesn't benefit from Crash Through at all until much later on. Um, 
but I'm going to try it out. We'll see if this works. Alright. So I guess now it's, uh... Delver. <laughs> Just in the middle of a, a video, changing up the deck. Also, it still has Crackling Drake as, as the art. Nice. Nice. So, as you can see, diff very different directions you can take the deck. Um, even taking out Lightning Strike might not exactly be ideal. Alright, so we have... well, okay, let's, let's try it out now, I suppose. We have Terramander, and I guess we'll go Island Terramander, so that they might think that we're on Mono Blue Tempo, or something. Ooh. Sleep. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, we're still... Hmm... Yeah, we're still gonna go with the Terramander. Let's pull it to the front. Hello. Yo. That was quick. Uh huh. Okay. So we'll opt. Winged words. That's really good. We'll keep that for sure. All right. And then fire it for one. See, yeah, here's an instance where that lack of speed might actually make a difference. It might be pretty consequential. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Uh-oh. Basic forest and a basic plains. And we're not going to have enough mana to actually take it out here. I'm going to play the mountain so I don't have to shock myself. Wing words, draw a couple. Ooh, okay. Alright, poke them for one. And then pass the turn. Yeah, what is this deck? Hmm. <clears throat> I guess we'll find out. Some four color ramp? Uh, yeah, that's good. Can't do anything about it anyway. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Ah, well that's a bit of a drag. Oh dear. Well, no matter what they put in, they'll make Terramander go up a little bit more quickly. It means we won't be able to go Shock Flame Sweep, in all likelihood. Unfortunately. Yeah. They took the Raking Claws. That's interesting. Yeah, not much I can do about that, unfortunately. Click both of them. Not enough cards in the graveyard yet, but we will get there. These spell pierces are very dead at this point. I mean, they know about them. They're, they're very dead. All right, so we take a bunch. Off to my turn. Now, we could not adapt yet, could we? So this is three. Um, so that would make it four, and yeah, we don't have quite enough yet. Huh. Well... Yeah, let's go, I guess, Flame Sweep Shock. It's really expensive, but you do what you have to do, right? It's definitely not ideal. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Did they whiff? They got one. Oh, my goodness. Well, hey, we take those. We take those. Alright. Let's get our clock built up. At least a little bit. I want to be careful about putting that in untapped, though. Yeah. I hate to say, but we're going to do it to you, man. Alright. That's a drag. Could have made a 5-5. Five five. We'll get there. Don't, don't worry. Oh my goodness. Are you freaking serious? And they have enough to pay for it. Well, that's okay. That's okay. So spell pierce, make them pay for it. Counter. Alright. Uh, why did I not opt? That's okay. Making claws. Drop it down. Alright, that was... Hmm. Alright. A 
fully loaded Terramander. Oh my goodness, Jay. Wake up. Wake up. You have your coffee. You don't have any excuse. Uh... Well, that's a bummer. I like what they're doing, though. The shock there, taking the shock is good, because it means that I won't be able to kill Niv-Mizet going forward. Like in this next turn, if I made a 5-5 and then shocked. Ow. Alright. Hi, Yorian. Well, this is, this is a drag. Yeah, this is game over. Wake up, Jay, wake up. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, slightly better hit that time around. There's another Deafening Clarion, for instance. As if they need it, but geez. Somehow, I don't know that this was the best showing for the deck. Alright, so let's see what we get. An Enigma Drake. Interesting. Ah, oh, you idiot. Should have played the Mountain first. You idiot. I'm way too hard on myself. I know it. I know it. I'm not actually an idiot. <laughs> I'm just tired. Ooh, that's a good game. Good game. Yeah, I, I think you got it. I think you got it, bud. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's try that again. Now with 100% more focus, or at least that's the that's the plan. Let's channel the like Jesus look. <laughs> See if that helps. The metalhead look. Hi, jo Jesus looking. There's Joseph. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, this land base is a little weird, but we can make it work. So let's put that in first. Oh, oh, hi! What I would do for a shock here, right? Well, no, alas. Let's see if we can get there. Hi, yuck. And then next turn we can go another one, crash through. Ooh. Scoot just down just a bit. Oh boy, we're playing eggs. <laughs> it's Tron. Oh no. Let's give him the hello. I don't know if I. I may have missed that. Oh boy. Um, I say instead of crash through, I say we shock one of these. I'm a little scared <laughs> of, of letting them keep their mana. I don't know what's going on here. I'm not familiar with this deck. The fact that it runs Gigantha does exclude some things, but I wish I could tell you what. Mindstone, okay. What is this? For real, what is this deck? Alright. Uh, Winged Words. Kind of would like to save the Enigma Drake for just a sec. Let's even rush out more damage. Oh, right on time. Huh, okay. Crash through, see if we get another land we care for. Ooh, a shock. Okay. Alright, so we can hit them for two and then ten. So it's not quite lethal, but let's take out their ramp. They can cycle the Mind Stone here. Well, they could do that anyway. Okay, okay. That's why that's why removal is fun, folks. That's why removal is a lot of fun. That Winged Words, I think, would have been a lightning strike, right? So, you know... It works. It works. Let's try that again. And then I'll move back to the more Drake-centered version in just a bit. Insert shoutouts to, uh, shoutouts to Drake joke here. I suppose. Ay ay ay. How is everyone? How are you all doing? I am f fine. I am fantastic. <laughs> I am fan tucking fastic <laughs> <laughs> I'm just tired. I'll be okay. Right. It's just that time of year, so like the mucus cough and whatnot. 
I'm pretty sure it's not that, thankfully. Yeah, we'll keep. That's good. I'm pretty sure. So we'll just cycle the crash through here. Just get that out of the way. Alright, we'll see what we have going on then. Ah, okay. Uh, opt first, I suppose. Another land. No thank you. Oh, wow, okay then. Uh, sure. That happens, I suppose. Uh, I suppose. No, for sure. Ah, can you, can you please no? 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 No. Die. You must die. We could have a lethal enigma drake very soon here. If they don't give their creature flying, ah, we could just win on the spot. Alright. Oh, okay, okay. I was about to say, if they pass the turn, and they so they only happen to have... Uh, why am I having a brain bar? If they only happen to have two drops, that would have been ideal. Yeah, we're hanging on to that. There you go, enigma drake... 3 4. So we're not. We are actually there. Next turn we'll have lethal. If they don't give it flying, then we'll have lethal. Because it'll be two more instants or sorceries in the yard. So it'll be base 5, doubled to 10, double strike. So we'll actually have a combo here. Uh, no blocks. Oh, this probably tells me that they have the instant speed one. Hushbringer. Ah. Uh... Ah, uh, okay. Well, that's not good. Hmm. Never mind. Never mind. We don't yet. We're working on it. We're not there yet. Crash through would make it... Would make it happen. Um... Let's try it now. I'm going to try to bait them into doing this. If they don't block, I'll use Raking Claws. Yep, here we go. So that they will next time around. We just need to get that out of the way as soon as possible. Alright. Now, it's they could have lifelink, though, but if they don't have lifelink and vigilance, then we're probably in okay shape. How many lands? Three? It's still not all that likely to come up. It's probably more important that we dig for crash through. Plus, we're tapped out this turn, the turn that it matters. Alright, I already can tell I'm thinking less <laughs> less like I'm in a fog. Yeah, and they found another land anyway. They're likely to hit their land drops now that they have a Spirit Dancer out. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to make them do it. Alright, so hit me for four. What is their hand that they didn't drop anything there? Oh boy. By the way, we can, with this sprite dragon here, we can hit for six just off of it. Alright, I'm gonna make them do it. What you got? kind of would like to do it, but it's not worth it right now. See, we can get it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. One, two, three, doubled, six, double strike. I, I can do math. I can do math. All right. And it has double strike. So yeah, there's lethal off of a sprite dragon. Oh my goodness, Jay. Better late than never. We, we got it figured out eventually. Here. What I need to do is just gulp as many sips as I can because apparently I need it. Alright, we'll keep playing. Obviously we'll keep playing for a bit. We only have three wins. Only three. Ay, 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 ay. Actually, lately I've been trying to make sure that I hit... 10 wins a day. That may, might make for a long video though, but 
I've been trying to hit 10 because 10 is the point after which you don't get XP for wins anymore. You get 25 up until then. Okay. Yeah, we'll keep it. Oh, I, I said I was going to switch it back. Okay. Just this one more. This looks like a Drake hand anyway. Every card in here is one I would have in either list. Uh, so we can go... Shh. Yeah, let, let's hold up steam vents. Hello. Alright, so in that case we'll opt. We have Flame Sweep. Wait, which one is that? That's Ketria. Uh, probably not a very good Flame Sweep one, especially since we already won in the hand. Ooh, okay. Uh, let's go... Blue for Terramander. And call it a game. No, no, no. Ooh. Hmm. We're not just going to shock their face. We're, gonna, we're going to wait. Had I known that, though, I would have played the crash through. Alright. Winged words. Playing the Spire Bluff Canal because this is the last turn I could play it untapped anyway. Um, in that case... Yeah. Let's swing on through. We might fire the Shock EOT just so that we get the... Ah, there we are. Just so that we get the Adapt Online a little bit sooner. That doesn't seem right, though. But Shock isn't going to do very much this game, it, it appears. Based on what they've played so far, and it is a Yorian deck, it doesn't look like it's going to do much. I really do appreciate the, the Yorian-style decks. I, as someone who... <laughs> who owns four copies of Uro. Ooh. All right, well, we are firing it off now, then. We'll make Enigma Drake a little bit bigger. Right. Two, and cycle. So we have a 4-4. Well, I haven't seen... Uh, okay. I think they'll, <laughs> the jig is up. I think they're about to know what's going on here. There goes our lethal in 2, unfortunately. Raking Claws, because it gives double strike, doesn't stack with itself. Actually, Unleash Fury doesn't stack with itself either. If you're wondering why I have 4 Raking Claws but 1 Unleash Fury, at least with Raking Claws I can cycle it if need be. Unleash Fury I can't, and 1 is all you need. If you have 2, it's redundant. It doubles the power, it doesn't double it thereafter, like, you know. Anyway, okay, so that Spell Pierce might, maybe, will come in handy. I don't know about using the Raking Claws too early. I want to be careful about this, especially since we can cycle it if need be. Alright, come on, play a big drop. You know you want to. Big drop non-creature, please, por favor. Okay, that's not, that's not what I mean. That definitely doesn't count. Since they know it's in my hand and they know I have instants, it does sort of hide the, the spell pierce a little bit because anytime it pauses for me... Ooh, no you don't. No you don't. No you do not. <laughs> Hi. It's almost lethal. If we play the Raking Claws, we can deal 14. It's not quite, but it's almost there. Almost. It's so close. Play the other one to get around another Rampage. Well, Whale, can we do it? I'm sure that they have Cast Out in here, though, because it's a Yorian deck. It's a good card to have anyway, but... You can blink it so that if you, there happens to be a more threatening target that comes up later, then you can take that with it later on. <coughs> uh oh! This might actually not even matter, though. Yeah, if they can't play something else here, we attack with both and then raking claws on the one that isn't blocked, and we're good. Yeah, okay, they saw it. They, they see what's going on here. That'll do it. 
That'll do. All right, all right. Now, Ray, uh, Drake's. Drake's, Drake's. Back to Drake's. That it? All right. So let's see. We were doing Terramander out, Crackling Drake as a two of last time. Uh, we took out Winged Words and put in some number of Lightning Strike. And maybe I could do Wing Words as well. Ooh, hello. Um, but again, the trick to doing that, unfortunately, is... Like, when your lowest creature is 2 mana, and then 4 at 3 and 2 at 4, it's just hard enough to get Winged Words to only cost 2 mana. It, it just becomes Divination at that point. I will say that there are some ways that I can try to get around that. I could use Chart of Course, I could use Radical Idea, I could use... Glimpse of Freedom doesn't help because of Enigma Drake. I mean, it helps, but in that one instance it wouldn't, unfortunately. But we can try to make it work there. We can add Beacon Bolt, um, we can add Maximize Velocity, This is something I tried out in Standard. This was a fun little card. <laughs> this was neat. Good old Maximize Velocity. And actually, this benefits the Drake side of things quite a bit. It's dead in hand before then, but one of, as a one of it's fine, I suppose. Crackling Drake and Enigma Drake both get huge with this, and they, uh, they have haste now. And you can one-shot people out of nowhere. Now, you're never, ever realistically going to have enough mana to go Enigma Drake, let alone, God, let alone Crackling Drake. Crackling Drake, Maximize Velocity, and Raking Claws and Unleash Fury. You're, realistically, the game's over by that point. But, you know, I have gone on in standard, on video, <laughs> uh, gone on long enough where a Crackling Drake had enough power to be lethal on its own. It was 20 power on its own. So, in that case, yeah, it matters quite a bit. Now, that said, maybe that's not enough. We haven't come across as much mud as I was thinking, but Spell Pierce is in here largely for, for mud. Oh, Anticipate's another one I could, I could try out. Yeah, instead of Maximize Velocity, I'm going to go with Radical Idea. Maximize, Radical Idea does something at any stage of the game, whereas Velocity only works when I have a creature and it's big enough to matter. Um, I just don't think we have enough time. It's not standard anymore. I don't think we have, have enough time to get there. Uh, and if we do, we're probably losing that game anyway. Okay, so number of lands is 21. That's where the extra slot was coming in. We could add another land back in. Um, but, you know, four opt, four crash through, radical idea, cycling from raking claws. We might be able to make it work. So, uh, let's fix the name again. This, is, this deck, this video has an identity crisis. And let's jump back in, I suppose. Let's see if we can get there. Oh, and I have some packs to open and some mastery orbs to use. And I guess maybe I could buy another pack to open. I don't know. Stuff like Chrono Cupcake. Stuff like that. All right. Hi, Tamio. And... Yep, yeah, we'll keep. Those looks good. Give him the big hello. There we are. Blip and pass. Take the two. Obvious giveaway is obvious. Ooh, okay. Yeah, it didn't it didn't end up working out. Not exactly. That's alright. Hmm. I could use spell pierce, but you know. For right now, we'll make it work. We have Unleashed Fury, so we have one piece of the puzzle. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so this is probably a list that's running something like Wrath of God, I would strongly, strongly suspect. Alright. Uh, in that case, let's fire it off now. And... Radical Idea. 
We're just doing this pre-combat so we can get the extra damage in. Ooh, a lightning strike. Could use another land, though. That's okay, we'll make it work. Ah, they didn't find the second white. Yet. Yet. They're getting there. I want to be careful about playing out this Crackling Drake early, though, if that's the case. Well, speak of the devil. Alright. Um... Okay, so this would put it to 4, 5, put them at 15, 5 double power, 10, so we're getting pretty close. And yes, I know, that could have been Radical Idea instead. And it probably should have been, because this Flame Sweep is, is dead. Just, this is a dead card. Alright, what you got? I'm gonna make them do it. Ah, oh, they put it to the bottom. Okay, good, good, good. They don't have it yet. They might be looking for a white source. Oh, no, no, good. They're doing it on their upkeep. I like this opponent. They put the stop on their upkeep. That is that is what you're supposed to do. Alright, here goes. Let's see if they found it. Ah, uh, okay, draw step. No point in using the Mind Stone here. Alright, did you find it? White. Wrath of God, settle the wreckage. Did you find it? Maybe. Maybe. Alright, so they found the planes. They haven't conceded. They have a Golos. Okay, what does Golos get here? Okay, okay. I was thinking if Golos got Radiant Fountain, that would put them at 7. Uh, which is doable, but they know I have Radical Idea, and then I only need one more. So... I, I appreciate the effort. I do wish that they had gotten Radiant Fountain and then just tried for it, though. Um, see, this deck is okay. It needs a better pilot, but the deck is okay. And this is a suboptimal version of the list. The land base is, is way off, <laughs> mind you. The land base is still missing three River Glide pathways. And then, what is it, Crag Glide? The other side. Ooh. Because we have Raking Claws, and Raking Claws has Cycling, it's possible. Knobber Shrap... <laughs> shrap shirt. Okay, uh... Mmm... Well, it's a casual game. This isn't ranked, so... Wh whatever. YOLO. YOLO it. Well, we might actually do some Cycling here. There's a... There's a very good chance we will do some Cycling here. might throw our opponents way off. What on earth? What deck is this? Alright, pass. Alright, moment of truth. Alright. Whale? Growth Spiral. Growth Spiral. Alright. Both of these will scale with the number of instants and sorceries that I cast. Alright, here we go. And they're starting from the same point. But one has haste. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can dig for something else. That'd be nice. Ah, okay. Woohoo! Alright. Which one do we want now? I know. Enigma Drake. Um, they're not in colors for Wraths, so I'm inclined to overextend the board a little bit. We're outside of Anger of the Gods range, that sort of thing. Why did I play that pre-combat? Jay, you genius. Jay, you genius. Storm's Wrath. Okay. No, I wasn't thinking about that. Now, obviously. Okay. 
Ha! Huh. Good to know, I suppose. Alright, what do we get? I'm gonna dig for another creature. Oh, shock, okay. Um... You know, another opt is fine. Alright, then pass. Storm's Wrath. I sh Hindsight is 2020, but everything's obvious once you know the answer. Oh, they made a copy of a land. Nice. Alright. Nope. Okay, well that's a thing, I suppose. Wait a minute. Genius. Alright, well, okay. Okay. See, here's an issue with only having ten creatures in your deck. What happens when you lose the- ooh. Ooh. Hmm. I don't like that. <coughs> Genesis Ultimatum. Spell pierce, spell pierce, spell pierce, spell pierce. Get them, get them, get them, get them. Huh. Oh, okay. And blip. There is a non-zero chance that we could get something with the combo of Flame Sweep Lightning Strike. It's not too terribly likely, but we'll pretend it's a thing. Oh, wow. Huh. Okay, then. That happened. I, I'll take that, I suppose. Huh. Okay. Double the power of target creature. I could target my opponent if I felt like it. My opponent's creature. Huh. Here we go again. What's the GTA meme? Oh, here we go again. Ooh! Oh no. Oh no. Huh. Zap. Hmm. Flame sweep. Because we might actually use the land for a crackling drake here. Or not. Blip. Alright. And then pass. There is a 0% chance that this spell pierce does anything. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, it should have spelled pierced there. You know what? Make him do it. See, see how soon we can cut this off. It's not going to be a big deal. They've, they've got it here. I say we just let them combo off. Just let them do their thing. I mean, it's over anyway, so... Uh, yep. Blip. There we go. It's just the game. You don't have to be mad. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I can't remember the name of the show. It, it's, um... There's an anime that I, I started watching recently. It's something to the effect of, like, how heavy... How many kilos are your dumbbells? And there's a Russian character you meet about episode 6 or so. I really like that accent. Alright, so they just got themselves, unless I missed a land drop, like they haven't played a land drop here. I think they just put themselves outside of Genesis Ultimatum range. Because I, I only count 6 lands left. Now granted, they might not have played one yet. Also, they could just play and explore and get a hundred land drops. That's a thing. <laughs> Case in point. Whee! 
Please! Alright, I'm gonna let you do your thing. Nobershrop. Nobershrop, sir. Nobershropshire. Shropshire. Wilford Warpstash! I've been doing uh, Dark Souls 2, and I just recently completed a deathless ride of Dark Souls 2. Oh my goodness, it's actually starting the time on me. Huh. Um, and the run that was successful, uh, the, the first deathless run that I did on stream, featured a, a character with the pink Wilfred Warpstash mustache from like Markiplier's channel. And I named the character Will. It didn't give me enough characters for Wilfred Warpstash. So I went with Wilfred42069. And that's the character that ended up winning. Of course. Of course. So. Uh, pink Mustache OP? I guess? Actually, that wasn't the first Pink Mustache character. Look at that field. I'm gonna give him a big old nice one. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at how look at how silly this is getting. Please tell me you have a Jace in here. A Jace or a Thassa's Oracle. Is that your wing con? Please? Oh my god. Oh, they can kill me off shock, actually. No, shock would do it. The Mirari conjecture. That's game. Target instant card from your great yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Poke. <laughs> Poke. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Give him the good game. They got me. They got me. That was cool to watch, at least. I love watching little combos like that. The machinery go off. Oops. Alright. But a lot of these haven't really felt like the deck's fault. A lot of them have felt like my fault. Uh, so if I played more tightly, if I played better, we'd be in better shape. Um, it is... It is a fast deck with card draw to make it more consistent. That's a pretty good place to be right now, but, you know, if you lose your creatures, eh, what can you do? And the answer is don't lose your creatures. That's why Spell Pierce is in here. You know, as you do. Oh, it's a landfall deck. All right. All right. All right, 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 all right. Okay. Pop. I say we shock it. I say that's now's as good a time as any. We are taking two to not take two. Ooh, okay. Huh. Well then. Oh, uh, if I play the Sprite Dragon, it's dead. So I want to be a little careful about how I do this. And by careful, I mean YOLO. Hey, I see they already have the shock in hand. I knew it. Everybody and their mom knew that, but unfortunately, unless they tap out, I don't really get a chance to keep that from happening. Anyway, all right. So we'll hold up Lightning Strike here. We'll play Castle Vantress. Ooh, light up the stage. Nice. Oh, is that another cavalcade? Jeez. All right. So crash through. Huh. Oops. Double Raking Claws. Please play Cavalcade. Alright, land. Oh, they're not doing it yet. Interesting. We're still gonna shock it. But that's that's weird. Okay. I can't say I understand that reasoning. Um, well in that case. Enigma Drake, and we are, of course, going to let this come in tapped. We don't have anything to play anyway, and we want to make sure that this thing lives. If at all possible. If not, we'll have two Raking Claws to cycle. Oh, they went past combat. Okay. So if we add a Raking Claws here, 
which we can do. If we add raking claws, we make it four power double strike for 12, and then it can be lethal next turn. It won't, because we'd have to find another... Ah! Hmm. Let's fire first. Power up the base cannon. Fire. All right, just three. Hello? Now you better not be playing Storm's Wrath in your cavalcade deck. I swear. I swear on your mother's life. Now this, on the other hand, this is lethal. Yeah, okay, there we go. Double Raking Claws. We can make both of them five power double strike creatures and hit them for 20 next turn. Uh, <laughs> five times two plus five times two. So yeah, that would have been lethal. There we go, see? Fast decks. <laughs> Fast, interactive, consistent decks. Something like this, we're, we're not being as um, over the top as a lot of decks in Historic are right now, uh, but having a little bit of interaction means you don't have to be quite as over the top. For example, like turn four, Ugin, out of mud. Turn one, land. Turn two, Mindstone or Guardian. Turn three, Hedron Archive. And then turn four, Ugin. <laughs> that is unfortunately a thing. Give him hello. All right. Canal, pass. <coughs> <coughs> See, that's what I mean. Like the, the mucusy cough. <laughs> that's a word. Mucusy. Ooh. Uh, what are the odds that they're going to spell Pierce and Opt? Pierce and Opt. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, it's the Flyer's deck, right? It has to just be the Flyer's deck. They're not running Lurus. But where's anything on turn two? Hmm. Okay. Well, holding up counter magic, maybe? Ooh. Uh, I mean, that's not bad. We're actually digging for lands here for Flame Sweep. There we go. I think that's probably the better way to do it. Alright. Flash one in. I dare you. I can't help it. Uh, I, I, I think that that's up their sleeve. So I, I cannot help myself. I have to play cautiously there. Hey! <laughs> Called it! Called it! Alright, now they can buff them. Imperian Eagle, go. Yup. Okay. Um, good news. I can kill everything else with, uh... Flame Sweep. Bad news, Empyrean Eagle will kill my Sprite Dragon in the meantime, or in the process. Alright. It's really obvious. Please fall for it. Alright. No blocks, so we're gonna do Flame Sweep. Hey, there we go. Bang. Otherwise, I can option select into Raking Claws to kill the Lord. Okay, so that's a handy little two for one. I won't say no to that. We're certainly not out of the woods yet, but I love that all of our creatures in this matchup will be flying. Do I have a flavor text for that? Swarms rise. I mean, yes, that, that does indeed work, I suppose. Alright. Let's see what they have. What you got? What do you have? Hmm. 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 Let it through. Alright. And then Enigma Drake gets countered. 
Lofty denial. Okay, no, not yet. I have no idea what's going on. I, I called the Spectral Sailor, but they don't have any copies of Lofty Denial yet. Yet. They're getting there, just not, not there yet. It's bound to happen, right? Okay, wait. Whoa. What you got? What do you have? Alright. I'm trying to think of the usual suspects. Spirits. Oh, it's spirits! That's why! It's not flyers, it's spirits. That makes sense. That's why I haven't been noticing any, anything like that. Alright, uh, we can make that work. We can actually kill that, and indeed we very well might. And if we do, we'll get a 3-3 for our trouble. It's not ideal, but, I mean, it works. It does indeed work. Uh, I guess we'll pop it now, while we have maximum mana, in case Spell Pierce is a card. Alright. Alright, there we go. I'll take my 3-3, shall I? Yes. Alright. Uh, if we hit them with Raking Claws here, we can put them down to 8. I don't think that that's necessarily ideal. Let's make sure that we get past blockers first. Alright, so we're past blockers. Let's use Radical Idea. Alright, what do we have? Okay, what you got? Why are you waiting? Is this rattle chains? I have no idea. I don't I don't even know what is going on now. Well this steam vents will get new life breathed into it at least. I was trying not to use that if I didn't have to. Bang. Alright. Well, what is it? Uh, Evangeline started one of our videos. Hey, Brazen Borrower. There we go. Wait, okay, so it's not as... Well, I play Murfolk with Brazen Borrower and Kira, so I guess it doesn't have to be exclusively spirits. Uh, Evangeline started one of our videos with the giant dad, well, what is it? She goes like, well, what is it? She has this little head turn she does. I don't have a clue why. Maybe it's supposed to be the turn that giant dad does, but his is like this, and hers is like, I don't know. This is cute. I'm a little biased. Everything like that is cute to me. Of course. Of course. As you do. Hey. Okay. So we're going to have to sneak past this 3-1. If we don't die too terribly soon, we might be able to manage. Let's... Hmm... Alright, opt first. Hey, shock. Okay, cool. Cool. Oh, we've got lethal. We have lethal here, don't we? Because we can go shock, raking claws. Yeah, okay, there we go. That should, should, be lethal. I'm gonna fire it off here. Um, do we need the radical idea as well? I don't think so. Let me just go over it in my head one more time. Uh, attack, Raking Claws, and even if they play out the Brazen Borrower, we can shock it. Okay. I swear, if they have Lofty Denial too, though, we're in trouble. So I won't play the land just yet. Alright, do it. Alright, do it. Watch it be another Brazen Borrower. Okay, is it another bra- do you have another brazen borrower? They've already gone past blockers, so what could get them out of this? I am desperately trying to think, and overthink, of what it could possibly be- what lucid nonsense this could possibly be- okay. Okay, so this is past blockers, right? Declare blockers. Right? 
We have gotten past that point, haven't we? I'm not crazy here, am I? I may have missed something, but maybe not. <laughs> Alright, what you got? Oh, they can't do Lofty Denial now. They have unclaimed territory up. Rally of Wings. Ah. Uh, Alright, well, never mind. So that was after blocks. Oh yeah, because it said on to damage, didn't it? Mm, okay. Well, that whole line was just weird as heck. I have no idea what just happened. <laughs> I'm overthinking this way, way too much. Underworld Dreams. Ooh. Not my first copy, but... Devotion and Standard. Okay. 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 Silly. But yeah, this is an interesting card. And I think... I think that the, the art here, the shape of this... this person and her hair, I think is a callback to the original. Um, where I think I remember that shape being presented there as well. Alright, so we have a few more to go, but while we're at it, let's open a pack or two or whatever. So here's Throne, flavorfully one of my favorite sets that's out right now. Okay, a uh, good sideboard card. That's fun, I suppose. Yeah, Witch's Vengeance. Cool. Cool. Okay. Oh, and we had more? We had another one? Well, hey! And another, the Honorary Scarecrow. Oh, hello? Yo. Yo, it just didn't count, it didn't take it away earlier. That's interesting. If I go back to PAX, it should be gone now, right? Yep. Yeah. Arena. It's a well-made game. <laughs> okay, that's a minor bug that doesn't actually matter. In the grand scheme of things, it doesn't make a difference. Alright. I guess I could open the other packs in just a bit. We're only an hour in. Oh my goodness, we're an hour in. Alright, so I should have two orbs to spend. And... I mean, eventually I'm going to have to get this one anyway, so uh, it does kind of make the decision pretty easy. Alright, so now we have Akom Warrior, Akom, and then Magmatic Channeler. Significantly more important in my mind. Ta-da! That's a card I actually play. And then we'll end up getting our Mythic Land here in a bit. Uh, I'll open the other packs after we get three more wins. Uh, the record tonight's pretty good. It doesn't feel like it because it feel like it feels like I'm misplaying all over the place. But we're actually doing okay so far. We've won more than we've lost for sure, and this is with a fairly budget-ish deck. Aside from the land base, it's I have to look back through it again to see, but it's mostly commons and uncommons. Okay, so Spire Bluff and Sulphur Falls. Well, with the opponent going first, we'll play the Sulphur Falls. First, unless we happen to pull a basic here or steam vents. And we didn't. Okay, so Sulphur Falls first. Though we're not going to be able to hold up Shock or Crash Through. Or we could play the Spire Bluff and just crash through here. It's Goblins, so we may just want to get the cycling done now. But it is it is Goblins. Oh, there's a Flame Sweep. Excellent, excellent. You can tell by Mountain nothing. Yep, see? Goblins. There it is. It's just, it's always goblins. <laughs> What's the meme? It was goblins? Always has been. Uh, well, it's another snoop on top. And then, play that out. <sighs> okay. Mountain on top. Yay. Can we please <laughs> play something on curve, please? Pretty, please? Um... I mean, we'll... Hold it up. Oh, okay. Lance. Yay. Good. Dr. Wily. Good. Make make a treasure, as you do, I suppose. Alright. Let me forget. Put a stop there. Can you... Oh. Oh, 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 oh. They have another land on top. So they're about to have a raw Muxus here. Really soon. In that case, should I play out the Enigma Drake just to get a clock down? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, we're, we're gonna try it. This may be wrong, but I'm going to try it. Alright, get out the Castle Vantress and let them go along. Ooh, okay. Good, good, good. That's actually not good, but we're gonna make it work. 
X damage. So they'll need another land in order to kill the Enigma Drag. But soon enough they will. Oh, there's a Chieftain. There's a Chieftain. Flame Sweep, let's go. Let's go. Wrecked. Um, I was hoping that it would give me sorry as an option, but it's not until you say oops. A little late on the hello. Oh, there's Muxus. Did it not? Okay, there we go. Ah, ooh. In the nice. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I would say. I'd say that that's okay. All right, so we have Raking Claws. How much damage can we do here? We, we win. We win. We got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. All right, there we go. Was the, it's the, I think George W. Bush, ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> Political memes, yay. All right. Well, okay, see, the deck can beat goblins. Probably not by outracing them, but by interacting with them. Cards like Flame Sweep, um, Shock, and Lightning Strike. That's what they're there for. It's to slow them down for long enough that we can assemble a combo of flying creature that gets bigger and raking claws or unleash furry furry unleash furry i don't feel confident in this one at all Ooh, yeah let's keep i'm going to make a read here that this is not a, a deck against which spell pierce will be helpful it's a luris deck okay okay so mildly helpful hmm as it turns out, just mildly so. Uh, we can go turn one opt. That's probably more important here. I, I sell hello. There we go. Took it a sec. Yeah, it may have been better to do the sulfur falls. This also lets me hold up spell pierce, but I you that was quick. I was about to say I don't think that's going to come in handy, but nope, never mind. That came in handy right away. Huh. Okay. We take those, I suppose. Okay. Well, nice. And pass. Uh, so it, it hits cards like Thoughtseize, Claim to Fame, and Claim the Firstborn. Those are the big ones. <laughs> Alright, Hill Land. Sulfur Falls. Crap. We're looking for an island or a mountain or a steam vents so we can play this flame sweep next turn. Because if we don't, it's going to get out of flame sweep. Okay, there we go. It's going to get out of flame sweep range. Kill it now. Triggers! Yay! I'm going to take two, get a 13. Lucky number 13. Ow. Yeah, we needed that right then, right there. Ooh, Croxa. Um. Uh, drop crash through. Ooh, nice. I'm gonna give him the nice on that. Yeah, that's good. That way we don't take the extra damage. It buffs the Enigma Drake anyway. So, it works. We're about to be able to go, just from what I have in hand, Castle Vantress, Enigma Drake, Crash the... Ah, uh, okay. That happened. Uh-oh. These decks do occasionally run Shock, so... I guess I need to be careful. Uh, we will hold up Opt. No point in using Crash though yet. They might have flyers. I don't think that they do, but they might. I swear. Alright, that's good. To God. Ow. Uh -oh. Well, that means that if I block with Enigma Drake, it's going to die. Well, that's true regardless, but it's going to die. Eww, yeesh. Alright. Um, we do actually want to use Crash Through here. We have Raking Claws, so we're going to try to make it lethal. Okay. See, Raking Claws, we can deal 14 damage next turn if we don't find anything else. Uh-oh. Don't you do it again. Why? 
Why, Lisa? Why? You are tearing me apart. Okay. Ow. All right. I. Yeah, from seventeen, there's not a way we can do it on this following, on this coming turn. If we found Unleash Fury. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's that's GG's. That's that's a GG. Unfortunately. Oh man. Boom. <laughs> Could you stop sounding like you're about to break, please? All right. Well, that's Historic's job. Historic's job is to break. We got we got two more in us. We can make this work. We can make this happen. Hmm. 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 Okay. Okay. Good times. Yeah. <sighs> Can we make it happen? There we go. Hi, Tom. I wonder how many of these people actually know. They see T1 Glistener Elf and... Well, uh, I don't know. If you're playing Arena, there's a better chance that you might not have actually played on... Uh, played Paper Magic before. So maybe they aren't immediately tilted by seeing in fact. Maybe. Also, Crash Through didn't have to be used there. It could have been saved for Sprite Dragon. I, so that I could have gone Sprite Dragon, next turn Sprite Dragon, crash through. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this will be fun. This will be really fun. Yeah, we're not going to block anyway, so there's no point. And they're not going to attack unless they have... Hey, there we go. There we go. The big nice on that. Boom. Oh! Mmm! All right, focus, focus. No more talking, no more talking. Focus, Jay. Glass casket, okay, well, huh. huh. Would have been nice to have a tutu here. Oh well. Oh well. We can kill one of them. I have a sneaking suspicion that that's probably not the thing to do. So let's not and say we didn't. In, at least not yet. We'll get there, just not yet. Alright. <sighs> really wish they wouldn't fly here. Oh, protection from multicolored. Nice. Okay, that that's legit. And that's a problem. Uh oh, and we're getting out of spell pierce range too. Can you stop? Could you please stop? At this point, we just need crash through. I guess I'll hold both of them up, but geez. Jeez. Jeez. And we would need quite the crash through. Alright, so they'll start attacking with one of them pretty soon. I would imagine. Alright, what's going on here? Oh, God. Fire this at them. We're gonna try as best we can to make crash through a thing. I have a sneaking suspicion it's not going to work, but 
you know, might as well try, right? So if we play Crash Through, then at the very least we'll have 10, 15, but they have reach. So they're doing the right thing here. Oh, we're getting big, bigger. We're getting bigger. That's what he said. All right. Oh, Jake, don't keep the shock there. You need to keep digging. That's fine. It's fine. Steel Overseer. Okay. Well, it ended up working out for us, I suppose. Bang. We're working on it. We're trying to get there, folks. No promises, but we're trying. Alright. Flame Sweep. We'll only kill two of their creatures. Might still be worth it, though. Eventually, we'll need to. Yeah, I'm going to hold this up. And then at the end of their turn... So, they'll make two seven power creatures. Ah, uh, can you stop? Please? This would be over if they just attacked with one of their creatures. I can understand why they'd be scared, but... Man. Uh, we got there. We got there, folks. GG. We got there. We got there, kiddos. Alright. Can we... Yeah, okay, there we go. We should not have won that, but... You know, it, it ended up working out. The deck is still good. As it turns out, the deck is still good. But we really, really should not have won that. From the missing Sprite Dragon early on, turn three. Ah, ah, okay. So you have to sack a creature, but each opponent sacks a creature. Cool, I guess. I'm trying to imagine, I would like to see something like that played in Brawl with more than just two players, but I don't know how that would come to Arena. I wish it would, I'm not sure how exactly. Yeah, we're going to keep it. It has one land, but it has double opt. So I think that we can make this work. And if need be, we can just fire off a spell pierce. Uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's, that's also good. It's not ideal. We'd rather have one that comes in untapped, but that's fine. We'll make it work. We'll have options anyway. Oh, case in point. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, there we go. And pass. I was doing my Pegasus impression there, I suppose. Ooh, Yugi boy. Oh my god, that was way too, way too good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah. Go off. Bang. Alright, opt. Um, at this point I think that we're okay. Oh, well, you know. Speak of the devil, I suppose. Alright, here goes. Oh, what have they hit? Let's take a look at their graveyard. Another Stitcher Supplier. Please. Okay. Well, for just the two, I suppose it's fine. We'll wait. We need to hold up Spell Pierce anyway. No, we don't. There's Luris. All right. Well, whatever you do, and please let me... Okay, just good. Double checking. They have another Stitcher Supplier in the yard. Good, 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 good. I think we can afford to get away with it this turn. Alright, play Luris, play Land, then Luris, then Stitcher Supplier. Let's go. Okay, there's another Stitch. Okay, so we're just doing one raw. That works. That sounded really weird, by the way. Doing one raw. That sounded really weird. I regret everything. After saying that, I regret everything. Uh, boy. Speaking of regrets. No regrets. No regrets. We're just trying to fill the yard for Enigma Drake at this point. Because 
We, we would like to be able to race. Uh, and it turns out it looks like we can. It looks like we actually can. So we have Spell Pierce for the inevitable fame coming up. Oh, please try to kill it now. Hey! Hey! Alright. Blood Chief's Thirst. Do it. Do it, casual. You know you want to. Alright. So, realistically, it's Croxa next. And then we'll have to discard... Um... Hmm... That's a good question. What are we going to discard? Because I'm a little worried about Claim the Firstborn. If I take... I would like to keep two Raking Claws for guaranteed lethal. Because no matter what I discard, it moves to five. Play one with Raking Claws, six double strike. Um, let's see what's in their yard. All right. No, 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 we drop Raking Claws, that's right. That's right, that's correct. We drop Raking Claws because we're going to have them dead in two turns anyway, even if we don't have the second Raking Claw. So that's fine, that works out. But, if they attack here... Okay, there we go. Mm, that happens. Um... Yeah. We're going to take nine on the next turn. Gains double strike. Alright. Hiya! Alright, and then they're dead next turn. We shouldn't have anything to worry about here. If they can just burst forth with four damage, then we're we're in trouble. But even with fame, uh they're gonna have to get through a spell pierce, which they can do. Oh, they're not doing it now. Interesting. Interesting. That's that's really weird. So double fame would have given them lethal, and we could fire off a spell. No, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. We wouldn't have had enough. So if they had done double fame, we would have been dead. Fatal push. Well, they actually can, unfortunately, do that. I, I guess I'll make them do it, but no, it's not going to work out. I'll make them do it. <coughs> oh, wait. The coffee tonight is a chocolate raspberry blend from Private Selection of all places. It's the Kroger... One of the Kroger store brands. Uh, kill it, and then concede. Good game. <coughs> <coughs> Alright. Little further. Little further. I'll actually open one more pack while we're here, and then we'll open the others after we win. Just need one more win after all. Hey, you know that card that we just got a. Uh, Alternate art for? Alternate frame, whatever, moving frame? Yeah, there. That's my first one. Crawling Barons. Okay. Ooh, Spoils of Adventure. I play this in modern. For a silly deck. It's a Changelings deck. Alright. One more win. One more win. We can get there. We can get there. Yes, we can. See, si se puede. <laughs> hey, Taxum. Death and Taxes, right? I mean, they have a Janny as their avatar. Okay. We can make this work, for sure. I like I like the little curve we have going on. Crash through to Lightning Strike to Flame Sweep. Let's go. Ginger Brood. Oh, man. Okay. Watch me regret that. Whoa. Double Flame Sweep, so maybe we can make it work. Ooh, it's Cavalcade! Okay, Flame Sweep is super hot. It's a very technical term. Super hot. Alright, can we get there? Play another. Alright. Oh, when it dies, I mass one, so there will still be some collateral damage. Ouch. Oh, wait a minute! Oh, they missed a land drop! Oh, whoa, 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 I didn't even get a chance. I was trying to hit my character's icon. So Spell Pierce, actually, no, that works. That's that's pretty good for what we're trying to do here. Um, huh, funny that. That works out. Because, see, they're stuck on one. So, you know. Oh, crap, it's fine. 
It's fine. Should have hit them when they were about to go to combat. It's just going through it a little too quickly. Alright. Calm down. Focus. Focus. You're good. You're good. Alright. We should be able to just carry it from here. We just play an island, Enigma Drake, hold up Spell Pierce, and we should be good to go for hopefully the rest of the game. This should just be done. I strongly suspect I would have kept the Spell Pierce anyway. Alright, here, here. Uh... Nice. Oh, boy. Shocking me to shock? I guess it could be a bait. Realistically, though, uh... Yeah. Land? Nope. Alright. Bang. Alright. So just off the raking claws here. Oh, crash through. Nice. Good. Gotta draw that card. Hey, They got there. Ooh. Shock my face. Yeah, so we're looking at four... Uh, plus four, plus four. Twelve, yeah, we've, we've got him. We've got him. Alright, so let's draw a card. And then shoot them. And then give double strike. And then swing for a bunch. There we go. It took a while, and I, I feel bad for them. That that happens. Like, when I play uh, Mono White Auras, that happens entirely too often. And that's a deck that doesn't, like theirs, it doesn't have a lot of card draw built into it. Just crash through. Alright, so, I, like I said, let's open the last couple. Took me a sec, but we got there. We're still under an hour and a half. <laughs> oh, another Archon of Emeria. So, for hate bears, I guess they get another toy. Get a new toy. And then... What's this? Mmm... Overcosted discard. I can make it... I mean, there's a, a Brawl deck that I use that could use this, but aside from that, no. Ooh, another Relic. Mmm... Is this something that Mud ever plays? I don't think that it does, but I guess I wouldn't be surprised. You know, for six mana, you get it and two tokens of it, so that that's fun. But it's not two, so it can't, you know... Turn to Mindstone or, excuse me, Guardian Stone into, or Guardian Idol into turn three Hedron Archive into turn four Ugin. You can't do that. But I wouldn't be surprised if they run it. And it's still kind of stuck here, isn't it? Whee! Well, you know what? I have one more I can open. So, needless to say, it's going to be the same set that I open a billion times. I swear, once I get that last Triome, I will stop. But I need one more Triumph, and somehow, somehow, well, here, let's open this first and we'll see if that changes it. Oh, Emergent Ultimatum. Okay. Let me, let me show something neat here. Let me show something. Alright, so we go into our collection. We sort by collected, not collected, rare, Ikoria. I still haven't come across any Mythos of Eluna. Look at all these four ofs. Or, the Ozolith, of all things. Now, I know it shouldn't, it shouldn't matter which, so, uh, of all things doesn't actually make a difference, but, you know, I, I just find it, I find it interesting. I've opened so many packs and still haven't come across those. Uh, but through opening all of these, that's part of how I've gotten some of the silly shenanigans, and I, I genuinely like this set. This is one of my favorite cards in Standard, even though I know it's not Cruel Ultimatum, it's not that good. And the context around it isn't all that good either. Control is kind of... Well, when it's having to deal with cards like uh, Elder Gargaroth and Questing Beast and everything that's mid-range that's kind of pushing Control out of the format to a large extent, eh, maybe, maybe not, maybe not. But I still like the card. And Whirlwind of Thought, and this seems like it might be kind of wild. Yeah, this is the first four of it gave me from the set, so I will build around this. It's I'm missing the last try land for it. This is the last one. Look there, one, two, three, four, and then is it in this direction? Oh, yep, there we go. I need actual factual one more copy, and then we'll be set to go. 
And I suppose that for now, anyway, that's it. So <laughs> take care, Magic Community. <coughs> I will see you all later. Bye-bye. <laughs>